In this video, I'm going to show you the main elements of a bead cleanup. Um, we have two sets of disposable tips on the deck, and then we also have a, a source plate, which is the clear plate with the, the green liquid that you can see in the wells. Um, so the first thing that the system is doing is picking up a fresh set of 96 well tips. And then the second part is that the, um, the dispense head is actually going to aspirate. Um, in this case, this is just colored blue liquid, but in a real protocol, this would actually be beads. Um, so it's just going to aspirate ready for dispensing those beads into, um, into the cleanup plate. Um, initially, this does a purging sequence, so it just ensures that there are no air bubbles in the dispense uh, heads. And in this case, it's actually aspirated in two syringes. So we can aspirate in any number of syringes in this system. Um, in this case, we're using just two, and it's working its way across the plate. So each dispenser will need to dispense into uh, 48 wells in this case. Obviously, if you use a, a single syringe, it would actually be essentially half the speed here. Um, the dispensers use positive displacement, non-contact dispensing, which works really well for a wide range of liquid classes, um, including viscous and volatile samples, and uh, actually works really well for beads as well. So in this case, it would be dispensing um, 80 microliters of, of beads into, into these wells. Uh, so it's just coming up, it's just doing the last row uh, for each of these. Uh, you can see the piston working down uh, to the end of the liquid that was aspirated um, as it completes its dispense. So now we move in with the 96 well tips and we aspirate first an air gap and then we'll be going back in to actually aspirate sample. So there's the sample aspirated um, and then this is going over to the, um, the plate that has the beads in it and going through a mixing sequence. So here you can see that the aspirate is low and the dispense is high. So we find that this gives a, a very good mixing. Um, because we've two, used two different colours of liquid here, starting with the green to represent the samples and then the blue uh, representing the mag magnetic beads, um, you're getting the, the, the blended colour um, from the associated mix. So it's just going to go through, I think it's 10 mix cycles in total. And at the end of that, it's going to dispense the liquid back into that plate and do a tip touch as it leaves the plate. So there's the tip touch at the top of the plate. Um, it's now going to move the plate using the gripper and place that onto the magnetic block, which in this case is the Alpaca Magnum Flex block. So it's just going to move that across. Just give it a little time here just for the, um, obviously you would need time for the um, magnetic beads to pull down on the magnet just while the gripper retracts. And then we're going back with the same set of tips that we used for the initial transfer. And here you may notice that it actually pushed that plate down. These are sprung, um, sprung magnets and we can actually push down and then over aspirate, which is why we have that big air gap at the bottom of the tips. So we've pretty much cleaned that clean up plate out and only left the magnetic beads in the ring in the magnet. The green plate here is being used as a waste plate. So just simply um, putting the waste in that plate. Uh, obviously that could be a trough or a deep well plate. Uh, in this example, we just used a, another PCR plate. Um, so it's now going to um, remove the tips and the final thing is it's going to come back and move that plate back to the deck. Um, and at that point, this demo will actually stop there. Um, obviously, in a real bead cleanup, you would then go back and dispense um, ethanol for the ethanol washes, various uh, movements back on and off the magnets, and then finally uh, dispense an elution buffer. So essentially, in those syringes on the right hand side, you would have at least one syringe for beads, one for ethanol, one for elution buffer. Um, and then additional sets of tips for extra mixes and tip washes. But hopefully you can see how easy it is to perform a magnetic bead cleanup on the Firefly. Um, so the final thing just to show as this uh, system homes is uh, just to reach in and actually grab that uh, cleanup plate just to really give you a good idea of just how clean that plate is, um, having had all the liquid removed from it. Uh, so that's the end of the, the demonstration. If you would like to know more, 
then um, please contact uh, SBT Lab Tech and we'd be happy to provide you with further information. Thank you. Thank you.